Filipino devotees nailed to crosses to reenact crucifixion. So this is something really uh, 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 dev devout Christians do sometimes. Hundreds of tourists watched as actors dressed as Roman soldiers hammered four-inch nails through the hands and feet of a Filipino into a wooden cross on the, for the 33rd time in a Good Friday reenactment of Jesus Christ's good fiction. This happens every fucking year, and every every yeah. year I have like I have to double check because every year, even though it happened last year, I have to actually check like is this really something that is happening? Even though we, I checked last year every Good Friday, and yeah, <laughs> they, this is you know they're not just hang, like they're actually putting nails through their hands. Like I was like, well, are they just tying them to crosses? No, they actually have nails going through their hands, right? I s so. I'm not sure if yeah, this is, uh, is, is their hands or is it their wrists? Because uh, historically, it would have been their wrists. Otherwise, the yeah, the they're not being historically be crucifixion. Yeah, they're not being historically <laughs> accurate because if they were, it would destroy their entire hand, right? Because if you go through their wrist, it will just break all your fucking bones and nerves, and then you wouldn't be able to use your hands ever again. They're going through their palms. Nope. Yeah, go on. Yeah, so. Um, because you know, in, in historic crucifixion, right. I'm a historian, so uh, um, I so know. in historic crucifixion, they would would uh, not nail them through the through the, uh, the hand, uh, palm of the uh, hand, because uh, then uh, the hand would rip out and, and yeah, the full, it wouldn't be able to the support the weight, right? But I'm just saying because a lot of people don't, a lot of Christians don't know that, and that's why all mm -hmm. the pictures of Jesus has the nails going through the hand, right? Yeah. Where, I, where it would be, would be go through, if it was being historically accurate, it would go through the wrists, right? Yeah, so between the bones. Yeah, yeah but I'm just saying it's a good thing that they're not being historically accurate because that would <laughs> yeah, damage them. in this case, them. it's a good thing. That would damage them for good. Um, yes. But even, even still, this is, this is why they have, if you look at the pictures, this is why they have ropes around their arms because mm -hmm. the, the nail would not be able to hold them to the cross. Right? They yes. said, but this is, why is this not illegal in the Philippines? Like, why is this allowed? Like, you have other grown men going and, and actually crucifying. Like, this should be fucking illegal. Shouldn't it be illegal? Well, well why, sh why should it be illegal if this is self inflicted? Well, um, I mean, if so, isn't it? Hmm. You're, I, I think legally, are you allowed to harm yourself if you know that you're going to harm yourself? Um, I mean, these are the people that are harming them are the people dressed in Roman soldier outfit. That's the people that are actually putting the nail through their hands. Yeah, right? okay, but that's, I, I would say this is with consent. It's, 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 it's a really stupid thing to do, but I think you're allowed to do that, right? <laughs> um, should this be allowed? What do, you, what do you think, guys? I mean... I don't know. Like this, I don't think this should be. I a think bad. it's a bad idea. I know it's. A, of course. Oh, you really? You think? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for that brave stance, Leon. <laughs> Crucifying people, r r r r putting nails through their hands, is a bad idea. Um, yeah, I know. But you know, sometimes pain can be a, be be an interesting thing. Uh, for example, in oh Peter's wait, what, what are you saying? <laughs> wait, Leon. Uh, like, kids, if you're watching, don't listen to Leon. What are you saying? <laughs> Pain is not a good thing. What are you, what are you talking about? Okay, so we started with anal worms eating sperm, and now you're going to warn the kids that she shouldn't listen. <laughs> oh my god. It's a bit late, Armin. <laughs> okay, no, what are you saying? Pain is not a good idea. What are you trying to say? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, wait. Uh, Jack is yeah. saying going through um, going through hand is still not even remotely safe. Surely folks uh, have uh, nerve and tendon damage for from this nonsense. Uh, Muska is saying Christians enjoy role playing too. Danny is saying reminds me of uh, when you were talking about the Shia. Oh yeah, the Shia is hitting the. But even the Shias, yeah. the Shia Muslims, when they hit themselves, they don't do damage that that stays. Like these people are actually putting holes through their hands, right? Um, mm. some people think like they, some people might think like, okay, they're idiots or whatever. Like let them, let idiots 
do whatever they want to themselves. But I don't think that's fair. I don't think it's fair for people to be harmed this way just because they're idiots. I don't think this is a fair punishment yes. for stupid for stupidity. Yes, so I like legally I think you can't really prohibit it, but morally we have an obligation to tell them this is not a good idea. Please don't. Yeah. Um but it's 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 so far I'm saying I mean stupid people I, I are don't think to this do is this things. is what what uh, like uh, evangelical American uh, Christians think about when they say what would Jesus do <laughs> it's not like <laughs> okay, yeah uh, but, but, <laughs> but this only <laughs> this mainly happens in different like every year every year we hear the same story and I'm pretty sure next year we're gonna have to repeat the story again right uh, but why does this happen in Philippines I mean I don't hear the story from other places. Other, there are other Catholic countries. We have Brazil, we have Mexico, right? Why? Uh, what is it about Philippines that people may, uh, people do this? I want to know. Like, is there some somebody needs to investigate? Um, some people are saying, I mean, stupid people are allowed to do stupid things as long as others aren't harmed. Uh, I guess, but it's still it's still a tragedy. Even if don't don't be one of those people that say that okay, these people are stupid, so they deserve it. No. No, Stup stupid no, people don't blaming deserve the victim. Yeah, stu stupid people don't deserve to be harmed. Uh, yeah. I'm not saying Subham, you're saying that by the way. Uh, this per uh, Bahin Kaka, I don't know. He say he's saying he or she is saying poor Philippines are named after Spanish King Philip, and they are um, also enacting a cru crucifixion. Yeah, actually, the interesting thing yes. is when I was in the Philippines, I I asked a lot of Filipinos that did they know that their country is named after King Philip of Spain. And they did not know that. Uh, <laughs> Axel, most of them did not know that. Axel is saying, let them do it, natural selection at work, but I would insist they go uh, the whole hog. No, Axel, that's very mean. No, no natural that's selection, very inhumane for, natural, for you to say. No, yeah, I mean, no. natural selection is um, is a force of nature. It's not meant to be a way we run society. Or, you know, that's not, yeah, anyways, that's not nice. No. Soraya is saying, so basically they... they Historically, didn't nail it. Filipinos seem poor in history lessons. Why? Well, uh, sorry, everybody is um, poor in history lessons. Most people don't know the history of their own country. Uh, so, yeah. I'm saying we can tell them that they shouldn't harm themselves like that, but we cannot legally stop them if they want to do it. Oh, yeah, I yeah. think Sopam is right. Unfortunately, we can't legally stop them. Jack is saying, I mean, one. one uh, position that we have against circumcision is that let people grow up and then they could do whatever they want to their body after they grow up yeah. don't for don't make don't do anything to their bodies when they don't have the uh when they when they can't decide for themselves so if we yeah, want to be consistent these people are adults yeah these people are adults i guess it's their body their choice right mm -hmm. uh jackie yeah. saying i th but we should still try to stop it i think we shouldn't yeah. force them to stop it but we should find other ways to try to convince them to stop it jackie yeah. saying i think they should be allowed to harm themselves but no one should be allowed to do it to them and you obviously can't do it to yourself you so it should be illegal. Oh, actually, Jack ha Jack found a good loophole. Um, <laughs> what you could do it like, yeah, you could you could nail yourself to a cross, but nobody should be allowed to nail you to a cross. So if you find a way to nail yourself to a cross, go ahead and do it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Moose is saying, a, yeah, that's actually but, a good loophole, actually. Yeah. Well, well, that's basically an argument you made a few minutes ago. That, but I I countered that by saying, well, these other actors, they have gotten consent from the person being crucified so that wait so if, so if i get still mean it's, it's, it's legal i would say uh, it's legal so leon if you give me consent to shoot you in the head should it be legal for me to shoot you in the head mm. oh, that's, that's a good <laughs> one uh. mm. No, no, no. I mean, I'm, I'm <laughs> all for, I'm all for assisted suicide. But the way assisted suicide works is that you have a professional. Do you go through? Somebody comes and does uh, some mental analysis on you, and you know, see if they could change your mind. And uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff to it. You have to maybe uh, 
uh, and then there's assisted suicide, but no, it's not like assisted suicide when it becomes legalized. It doesn't mean that now you could go like, "Hey, I'm okay." If anyone wants to kill me, and then all of a sudden, is 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 human season on your ass. Um, mm-hmm. You know, it's not. It doesn't work I, I like think, that, right? So, given that that's not legal, I think Jack's method works. I think if I we think, can, if it's not legal for somebody to consent that somebody else kills them then it shouldn't also well, be legal for somebody to be able to like, hey, come crucify me. I think well, the person that is I, I doing the I think it's cruci- a bit of a slippery slope argument because when you crucify sl- someone, slope is a uh, you're not fallacy. killing them. So they, 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 it's presumed that they, they are able to recover even if they have permanent damage. But, you know, if, if we can't uh, consensually uh, uh, hurt someone else, then we have to uh, uh, abolish all, all sports like boxing or, uh, you know, Wait. it's also with consent that you hit someone on the face, even though you're trying to prevent it. But it, when it happens, it's consensual. And, and you, you can't, like, say, yeah, but oh, still, that's illegal. But, yeah, but, but, but then there's an environment where that's allowed, right? You can't be yeah, well, like... you could say that this play is also an environment where it's Yeah, allowed. but if they, make it, they make it, they specify where it's allowed legally, right? You can't, if you go into a bar and be like, somebody punched me in the face, and then somebody punched you in the face, I think that's, you still get charged for that, right? But if you're in a boxing <laughs> ring, then you won't get charged for that, right? So, it's same with assisted suicide. If, if there's a specific way you do it, like if you say like, mm-hmm. hey, I want assisted suicide, I want to die with dignity, then there's a specific way that's done. But if you like say, hey, somebody come kill me, and then somebody just randomly shows up and kill you, that's illegal. And I think, yeah. so there is, like there needs to, the people have, the people that do, um, you know, unless somebody go- goes and gets a degree in how to crucify people and does it professionally, <laughs> I don't know. I think this should be illegal. So I think Jack found a, a good loophole. Jack is saying, uh, hip- what? Hippo, what? Hippocratic, oh, Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. There's absolutely no benefit to this. It only causes harm. Oh. Yeah, but we're not in a medical setting. So you're not asking a doctor how to how to treat a patient. This is this is an is a is, is theater. This is a play. So I don't think this is a good analogy. Yeah, but it's but harming people in plays are not allowed. Um, April, I think April no. April is saying more fun in the Philippines. I don't know if people know. And more more fun in the Philippines is actually a tourist tagline from the oh. Philippines that like they that say like everything is more fun in the Philippines so she's saying <laughs> that as a joke the mm. fact that her comment is the top comment shows that we have a lot of Filipino followers because most people wouldn't know <laughs> what she's talking about if they didn't know that that's a Filipino ad more fun in the Philippines yeah. Andrew, yeah, is saying, <laughs> Andrew is saying here in the here in Philippines uh, what cataract is the third biggest cause of blindness re- religion and politics remain the first two. Did I read that right? Yes. Mm. Um, I don't think that's correct, though. Um, this next. I think it's made as a joke. But Jesus Christ cosplay gone too far. Uh, <laughs> Sebastian is saying, so they suffer pain in order to honor Jesus who suffered pain in order to save others from suffering pain makes so much sense. <laughs> oh yeah, actually yeah. that's a good point because didn't, isn't the whole philosophy is like, hey, I paid for everything so you're all good. Um, yeah. So why are you going through pain? You, everything is already everything has already been paid for. So you guys are like Jesus, like when, they, when these people die, Jesus is going to be like, what the fuck? Didn't I? <laughs> like, he you... suffered for nothing, but yeah, you yeah, still have to repeat. Yes, it, so. these people are gonna go to hell because they're gonna make Jesus look like he did all that suffering for nothing. Jesus, <laughs> like, you can't outshine my pain. Um, Shani is saying Philippine was a good country until religion came in. Actually, that's not historically accurate. It wasn't ever a country. Always until... was religion. <laughs> no, uh, first of all, it, it had other religions. It had um, mm. before Catholic religion came over. And before the Catholic religion came over, before the Spanish invasion, it wasn't even a country. So no. it was never a country before religion. Anyways. By the way, wasn't when the, the, the southern islands or uh, peninsulas already Islamic by then or partially Islamic? No, uh, there's no. okay. Well, I mean, so it was all. It was very everything was mixed, but uh, mm-hmm. then, but 
so Indonesia became Islamic because of the spice trade, right? So Indonesia yeah. is one, of, uh, but it's basically the board, the where the line where the Catholics stopped and Islam began, it was kind of blurry and it's still blurry today. Um, but the interesting thing is that Islam came to that region with it's one of the few places where Islam spread without the sword. So mm -hmm. Islam by came. Trade. Yeah, by, by the spice trade. So uh, Islam came to most countries in North Africa and the Middle East by the sword, by invasion. But Islam came to Indonesia and Malaysia by the spice trade. Um, Monica is saying, are there dissenting protests allowed alongside it? This, that seems the most reasonable reaction since it appears difficult to criminalize it. I saw a picture of somebody showing up with a Spider-Man costume next to one of these crosses, making fun of it, and one of the Roman soldiers was, um, like, whip, trying to, whipping the guy, trying to make him go away. So I saw that. Wow. There was one, <laughs> one Spider-Man guy was trying to protest it. So, but uh, yeah, some actually atheist activists in in Philippines. Please, uh, maybe we could arrange something there to go protest these crucifixions. Mike is saying, how is it different from um, sacrifixion and other body modification? Scarification again? Is that what it means? Sex scarification? What does that mean? I don't know that word. Scarification. That then you 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 place scars on your body for some reason. I thought it so. was. Oh, serif, serif, scarification. scarification and other body modifications. Um, well, I guess they, at least the people that do that, they are doing it in a professional setting where everything is, um, you know, sterilized and all that. Well, yeah. not always. I mean, uh, I assume that you have heard of, of the phenomenon of uh, a cupping. Cupping therapy, or oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's called it's called hijama in uh, in Arabic. Have you heard about that? With the with the fire and the cup that sucks yes. your body. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. I mean, not very sterile and hygienic. So that should be legal. There you go. Yes. So when it's, eh, there you go. So when 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 it, when somebody does something like that and it's not sterile, the government comes and shuts it down, right? So. It should. Yeah, they should come. Sh so there you go. If we're being consistent, if that's something like that is shut down, this should also be shut down. Um, Muscal saying these people need a. That's a medical setting. So then, 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 then you have the oath of. No, hypocrisy. they could be okay. So they should be like, okay, this is a play. Then we're not doing medicine. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they're not qualified they should... doctors, then it's a quackery. So no, so know, could be, they, so ba if you so... if you're saying if it's a play, then it should be allowed. Then they, all they need is an audience, and then they're good. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.